Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, let's talk hard goods that I sold on Poshmark. I am going to give you some Bolo items, some items to be on the lookout for, items that I bought low and sold for decent margins. Um, they are going to range where there's going to be some bread and butter mixed in with some bigger money items, and I'm just going to share them all with you. So we are going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what it sold for, and what I paid for it. Um, I shop at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, Facebook marketplace. I pretty much source anywhere. I source on YouTube channels, um, anywhere. So you can source from home. If you guys aren't sourcing from YouTube, uh, a lot of YouTube channels are having selling events. It's a fantastic way to get inventory. Um, all right, let's get started here. Um, I, when I uh, shop on YouTube, I typically buy from Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. Uh, I do have them <clears throat> linked down below if you guys want to check that out while I'm getting this pulled up here. Okay, so the first item I sold is this Build-A-Bear plush. This took forever to sell. I Let me make sure my screen shares up. Okay, it is. Um, <clears throat> I actually had people messaging me just wanting to buy the overalls or the bibs. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. So it finally sold on Poshmark for $20. Um, I have a feeling I probably could have made more if I would have separated the two, but that's okay. Uh, cost of goods on this was probably a buck or less. The next item are these Paw Patrol vehicles, figures, and toys. I picked these up at different places. This was just a random lot that I had pulled probably from thrift stores, estate, or garage sales, you know, stuff like that. And I just made this lot. Um, I probably could have made more selling them individually, um, but I sometimes I'm lazy and I just lot things up. So my cost of goods for this was probably $5 or less, and I sold this for $29, and the buyer pays shipping on Poshmark. The next item is this cool vintage thermos, and um, I do not remember where I got this. Um, shucks. It looks like something I would have gotten at an estate sale, to be honest, but I'm not sure. But my cost of goods was probably like a buck. That's probably, that's, I have like, you guys know how when you source, you have like certain prices you'll pay for things. Well, I kind of have those certain prices I'll pay for things. And this is, this was probably a buck. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Fireplace. Um, you push that little button and it plays music. And then it also, you push the other button and it flips that from a wreath to something else. But this dollhouse piece sold for $17. Um, I typically pick dollhouse stuff up anywhere I see it because it's so easy to list and ship. And it usually sells well. This is a Disney store Aladdin. I've actually had two of these. Um, I know the most recent one I paid, I think between three and $5 for at a garage sale. It was a lot of um, uh, Disney store plush and I did pay up. So I'm gonna say this guy was probably between three and $5. And I sold him for 19 plus shipping. Now, if he was the original one I had, which he could have been, then I probably paid a buck or two for him. The next item is this Flashlight Friends Penguin. I got this at a thrift store and sold this for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think this was a couple bucks. The next item I believe came out of a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box that is. It's a 2004 The Wiggles Feather Sword Plush. So it's a plush sword. It's 20 inches long. Uh, super cool item. I sold this for $27 plus shipping. The next item is this lot of frozen figures. And I, I think I got four star feedback on this because the buyer said the items were smaller than they thought. So they must not have looked at this picture. <laughs> but anyway, um, I always try to do a photo with the actual tape measure in the photo so that people can see items like that. Now, I didn't do every single figure, so maybe that's where the confusion was, but um, I don't know, I it, it happens sometimes, but always put the, the tape measure in there. I, I don't take the time to put it in the description or anything like that. 
So this sold for $21 and the buyer paid shipping. This I picked up at random places and I just threw a frozen lot together. The next item I sold is this bundle. So I had this cameo, it's a scarf cameo, uh, these four strand beads, and then this elephant tassel. These items were fantastic. I ended up taking a best offer. I don't know what the best offer was for, but my earnings was 48. So Poshmark takes 20%. So I don't know, you guys will have to figure out the math, but I did take an offer. But I was definitely happy with that sale. These are really cool pieces. And whenever somebody buys multiple pieces, that's great. Uh, these, I pick up jewelry. I picked up 344 pounds of jewelry on um, eBay. And then I go to garage sales and I'll just be like, how much do you want for all of the jewelry? So these items came from that. Uh, different places, my cost of goods was probably a buck each or less. The next item are these vintage household Japan stainless serving spoons. I sold these for $15. These were a garage sale find. I think I paid a dollar for them. The next item I sold are these 12 pin back buttons. Um, I'm thinking pin back. Is that one word or two? I may have messed that up. Uh, but I sold these for $10. And again, it was just probably a garage sale and a bulk buy or something like that. So probably had a dollar or less in these. The next item is this vintage strawberry rhinestone clip-on earrings. And I believe this came from that bulk buy. I sold this for $30 um, and the buyer paid shipping. It was unsigned. So um, just an unbranded set, but super, super cute. The next item is this Rob Didrex. Di ah, I don't know how to say that must be a skateboarder's name, but this is Wild Grinders. And I picked this up at a garage sale. I was buying out all of the toys at this garage sale. Everything was new old stock. I think my cost of goods ended up being $2 a piece by the time it was divided out. So some of the items that were cheaper, I still paid $2 for. And some of the items that were bolos, I paid $2 for. So it was really, really like you look back and you think about some of the best sales you've ever been to. That was one of them. I sold this guy for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. So all of these items were listed on eBay and Mercari. They sold faster on Poshmark. I do use List Perfectly to cross post. Um, you guys, eBay is my number one platform. I sell the most stuff on eBay. Um, it's really no comparison. So if you're on Poshmark and you're not selling on eBay, I highly recommend that you get on eBay. Um, there is a learning curve just like anything else, but you're going to sell more because it's a bigger platform. At least that's my experience. I don't know. Um, maybe there's people that sell more on Poshmark. Maybe they work their business a different way than me. I'm not really sure, but eBay is definitely um, my number one. But if you want to check out lists perfectly and how it works, I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. You can start on Poshmark and then cross post to eBay and Mercari. Um, there is a video link down below that shows you how I do that. And if you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that'll get you 30% off your first month. I also have a video that shows you how to cross post from Poshmark to eBay and um, Mercari. So if you're only on Poshmark, that might be the video for you to check out. But it's super, super easy, super fast, and getting other eyes on your items is great. So definitely check that out down below. The next item is this vintage 1996 Halloween costume partial witch mask. Um, probably would have been good to have witch wig in the title. I don't know. I think it cut it off and I didn't rearrange the wording, but it was in the um, description. So I think on Poshmark, it still searches by um, description as well. I sold this for $35 plus shipping and I got this at a garage sale for like a buck or two. This is a Budweiser Clydesdale snapback trucker hat. I usually pay a dollar or less for my hats. Something like this, I would probably pay up a little more because this thing was in mint condition. I don't remember where I got this one. Um, I do really good in my videos. Um, for my eBay, I, I have a little section that tells me and I make a little sheet, but a cheat sheet for when I'm doing the video. But I didn't do that for this video, so I apologize, but it was probably a buck or two. Any hats that are vintage with the big patches, um, 
definitely look them up. I have a video that talks about vintage hats and what to look for. Uh, definitely check out that video because there are key things that bring up the value of these snapback hats. This one sold for 46 buyer paid shipping. The next item are these mixed lot of mini Bratz McDonald's dolls. These came from a garage sale in a bulk Bratz lot. Um, I parted it out. I ended up selling these for $10 buyer paid shipping. This came from a garage sale, if I remember correctly. I think it was like 50 cents or a buck. And I sold this for $17 buyer paid shipping. It's a Harry Potter hat. These are LOL doll bank backpacks. And there's four of them. Um, I pick up LOLs whenever I see them. I get a lot off of Facebook Marketplace um, in the thrift stores. But these were just random ones that I had had. Um, and I decided to lot them together. The funny thing is, is I wasn't going to list them because I felt like they were big and bulky and shipping was going to be a lot. And I'm like, I should totally put these on Poshmark um, because of the set rate shipping. And they actually sold quicker than I expected. They sold for $25 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this puzzle pack. It's ABC's Farm State Sea Animals. I pick up new old stock toys whenever I see them. I also find them in thrift store mystery boxes. I don't remember where this came from. I probably had a dollar or less in it, and it sold for $12 plus shipping. The next item, this came from, um, I believe it was TJ Maxx on a clearance sale. Um, so a retail arbitrage item. And I sold this for $25 plus shipping. And I think my cost of goods was around $3. It was a yellow tag. This I got at the Goodwill bins. Um, I don't do a lot of clothing anymore, but this sweater was a part of a bins challenge that I put together. Uh, it was called a scavenger hunt. Uh, you should check out that video for sure. And the people that participated, there were a couple other YouTubers, but I had to pick out a clothing item. So this was the item I picked. I believe it was for that video. I could be wrong, but I think so. I know I got it at the bins. And I sold this for $35 plus shipping. This is the Imagine X Ham's Evil Dr. Porkchop from, it's a spaceship vehicle. I think this is a Toy Story character. And I sold this for $20 plus shipping. And I think this also was a Ben's find. The next thing is this paper mache Santa uh, 15 inch Christmas decor. Honestly, I've had this a very long time. I don't recall where I got it. I sold this for $19 plus shipping. Let me see where I'm at on time. Okay, we're going to keep going here. The next item I sold is this vintage Girl Scout sash with patches. And I picked this up at a, I think this was a thrift store find. Um, it was in a Ziploc bag with some other patches and like a little vest, if I remember correctly. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Flipsy doll plush Zuri cat. I had no idea what this was. I'm pretty sure I used Google Lens to figure it out, but it folds up into like the hair, like flips over and it kind of looks like a cat. I don't know, kind of interesting. Never seen anything like it. Uh, that came from a garage sale and it was 15, I sold it for $15 uh, buyer paid shipping and I probably had about 50 cents in it maybe or it was in a bundle. I can't remember. That might have been a bundle deal. Here's a Fisher Price Loving Family dollhouse bed. I, again, I picked these up in huge lots. I sold this for $17 uh, plus shipping. A lot of times people will sell the dollhouse with all of the furniture together and I will part it out. I will part the furniture out. Some people don't want to waste the time doing that. I enjoy listing it. So it works for me. The next item are these Playmobil um, people and horses. I sold these for $19 plus shipping. I do not recall where I got these. Again, you guys, I buy so many toys in bulk. So it's probably just a thrift store or a garage sale. The next item is this Santa suit. And I had this listed on eBay for quite a while. And I was like, okay, it's a Christmas item. I need to get this on Poshmark and Mercari. Um, that was in November, I think, that I cross-posted it and it sold within a couple days. Sold it for $25 plus shipping and that came out, out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. LOL dolls. Like I said, I picked these up in bulk. Um, I sold this lot for $60 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney trading pin. It's a 
Snow White and the Princesses. And this came from a garage sale. I bought a bulk lot of Disney pins and this one's from 2008. I sold it for $15 plus shipping. This guy took a long time to sell. I don't even remember where I got him. I mean, a long time. Uh, it's a Kevin Love bobblehead. You know what? I just remembered. I got it from a garage sale. It's probably been two years ago. Yeah, I had him for a while. Some of the bobbleheads do really good. Definitely look them up. But uh, this guy, I don't know. He wasn't getting any love. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, sorry. Bad joke. Uh, $20 plus shipping. The next item is the Play School Victorian Dollhouse Replacement Railings. So I parted out a Play School dollhouse that was incomplete. And these are just the railings. I sold these for $28 plus shipping. The next item is, again, another puzzle. I pick these up randomly when I'm out. Um, anything new old stock. Um, this may even not, I don't even know if this is considered old stock. But uh, sold this for $15 plus shipping. The next item are these Nicole Miller scented soap petals. I got these at a thrift store. I think they're so cool. They took forever to sell. I have no idea why. I think you like pluck them and then use them as soap. Really cool. I don't know. Maybe my keywords weren't great. I sold this for $20 plus shipping and I probably paid a buck for it. South Park, the complete season six, sixth, eighth, and 10th. Uh, sold this for $30 plus shipping. This came from a garage sale and I think I had around five bucks in all of them. These Lego Bionicles stars, Bionicle stars, lot of five figures. They're loose figures. I got a huge lot of Bionicles from a thrift store and most of them, I shouldn't say most, I would say half of them were already built or just missing a few pieces and I had to figure it out. Um, I have sold almost all of them, which is fantastic, but I have a whole tote full of miscellaneous pieces that I have to figure out someday. Um, this sold for $78 plus shipping. This is a stocking. Um, I believe this came from that Ben's challenge. Also, I think I had to find a Christmas item. This is what I picked up. Super cool needlepoint stocking. It's Disney, Mickey Mouse. I sold this for $30 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Disney Store Frozen Princess. Um, I believe this came from a garage sale, and I want to say I paid up for it around $4. Um, but some of the other ones, there was one I sold on Mercari for $65. It was like this rare uh, fairy princess uh, from Tinkerbell. So it ended up working out when it was all said and done uh, because I made more on that one. I still made money on this one, but not as much. I sold this for $15 plus shipping. The next item is this Tinkerbell watch. This took a long time to sell, but the band was actually in pretty um, poor condition, as you can see here. I sold this for $15 plus shipping, and um, I'm guessing somebody's going to replace the band. The next item I sold is this Bucilla counted cross-stitch stocking. Anytime I can find cross-stitch kits, especially the stockings, they do really well. This sold for $35 plus shipping, and I probably paid a dollar or less for this. These are Longenberger Pottery Blue Taco Holders, you guys. So you put your taco, your soft taco or your hard taco down in this, and it holds it. Um, I sold this for $22 plus shipping. This was a garage sale find, and I think it was like 3 or $5. This is crazy that this sold. I don't remember where I got it. Um, I think it was just in a bulk lot of jewelry and I just decided to list it because it holds a picture. Took forever to sell, you guys. And it finally sold for $13 plus shipping. The next item is this Ted Baker iPod Nano second generation case cover. Okay, number one, I don't know how many people still have an iPod Nano second generation. Probably like close to like 1% of the population. Um, I got these so long ago. I was at a, um, I can't remember what store it was, kind of like a TJ Maxx, a discount store. And I bought a ton of these, which was a huge mistake. I didn't pay much for them. I don't remember what I paid for them, but it wasn't much. Thank goodness. But it's so funny when these random things still sell. They are so long tail because nobody has these anymore. But this sold for $15 plus shipping. So I'm really happy to say 
that I got this out of my house, number one, and I made a decent profit. So pretty cool. The next item I sold is this vintage nativity. It is chalkware. I picked this up at a garage sale for $5 and I sold this for $80 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Paw Patrol replacement part. It's the lights and sound button that goes with the playset. And I sold this for $17 plus shipping. And that came off of a playset that I parted out that was incomplete. The next item just sold. Um, it is a Spark Create Imagine Plush Puppy Dog Boxer. It's actually pretty big. Um, he's really squishy and cuddly. Um, I would maybe kind of like a Squishmallow, but this is not a Squishmallow. It's by Spark. I think it's like a Walmart brand or something like that. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I think it was a buck. And I sold this for $28 plus shipping. All right, you guys. I don't know how many bolos that was, but that was a bunch. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I mean, hard goods sell awesome on Poshmark. So definitely go through your house. Get those hard goods listed. Um, if you're on eBay or Mercari, cross post them to Poshmark. These items do sell over there. Poshmark is not just clothing. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up, a subscribe button down on this side. Um, so subscribe if you haven't already. And if you could leave me an emoji of an owl, if you made it this far, that would be amazing. Thank you for being here and thanks for watching. Oh, check out the description for links to like my Facebook and Twitter and all of that good stuff. All right.